Hi, welcome back. My name is Michelle and you're watching Michelle is Life. Today's video is my June favorites video. Um, again, I feel like I don't really have enough to make this video, but last month I said the same thing and everyone said they liked it. So I figured I'd show you the few things that I discovered this month that are quickly becoming my favorites. I'm going to start off with a couple of people that I have not necessarily discovered this month, but that I have been talking more to or watching more of their videos, and I just really appreciate them, and I kind of want to give them a little bit of a shout out and just let you guys know how awesome they are. The first two people I want to talk about, I don't think they have YouTube channels. I know that one has a blog, which I'll link down below, and the other has an Instagram that I'll link. And those two wonderful ladies are Caitlin, and I'll link her blog, and Julie, and I'll link her Instagram. And both are just really, really sweet ladies, and they always comment, and I just really enjoy our conversations that I've had with them. And they're just so supportive, and I think uh, Caitlin also included me in one of her blog posts last month, and I was having such a horrible day, and I read her blog post, and it just, it made, it made the whole week better, in all actuality. So, I just really appreciate them, and I just wanted to say, hey ladies! And then I have a couple booktubers that I've been talking to lately, and I really appreciate them because I feel lately I've been able to zone in more on exactly what type of genres I look for in books and what type of themes and topics I really enjoy. And I found a couple other channels that seem to have the same interests as me and I am so happy to have found those channels. So the first one I want to mention is Lily from Sweet Love Books. She does this great series about talking about um, UK YA authors and it's just really interesting and she's so well spoken and eloquent and so down to earth and I just really enjoy her videos and her comments and I'm really glad to also be doing a buddy read with her next month but you'll have to watch my TBR to see which book I will be reading with her. And then I've also really loved watching Crystal Lynn's videos. She scripts really great discussion topics on different subjects one that I really loved was talking about 10 Things I Hate About You and The Taming of the Shrew and other uh, Shakespearean adaptations. And it was just it was really, really interesting. It definitely got me interested in, one, watching 10 Things I Hate About You again, but two, also looking into more adaptations of Taming of the Shrew. So it was just, it was really good and I will definitely link her video down below. And she also just recently published a video about Monet and different um, facts about his life and stuff like that and I thought it was really interesting and really intriguing. Unfortunately right now I'm spacing on some of the ideas that were in that video but I'll link both of those down below for you to go check out just to broaden your knowledge on both of those subjects because she did a phenomenal job in both of them. And then the last person that I want to mention is Sajid from Books Are My Social Life. He is phenomenal. If you want to go subscribe to a channel where you know that you're always going to laugh and smile watching his videos, definitely go check Sajid out because I laugh so hard at all of his videos. He has such a bright personality and he's just so enjoyable to watch and he's very eloquent and articulate in what he wants to say and he really enjoys YA but he also sees some of the faults in some of the books that he's read and he's just very honest about that and some of the games he's hosted on his channel with some of his friends and stuff. It's just really funny and I really enjoy the videos that he makes and yeah, I definitely definitely recommend you go check out his channel. My favorite book this month had to have been If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Rousseau. I will leave my link to my review video down below. I also enjoyed filming that review. With the audiobook it was just a very eye-opening experience and it was just very educational and influential and I definitely recommend checking that book out. It was five out of five stars. All right, so I don't, I think it was Twitter um, this month. I heard something about the Lizzie Bennet Diaries and I had heard about it prior on Twitter, months prior, but I didn't know what it was. So I checked it out and it turns out it's a YouTube series and it is so good. Especially as someone who creates videos for YouTube, watching a uh, Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice adaptation um, focused on creating YouTube videos to tell the story in a modern era was just so good and I loved all the different actresses and actors and I love that they stayed in character the whole time like they were 
Lizzie Bennet and Jane Bennet and Darcy and Bingley and it was just perfection and I absolutely loved it. I, I do want to mention that there were two brief sentences in the series that were slightly homophobic so if something like that would bother you I might not check out the series but overall it was really good. Another bookish thing but a bookish thing for my daughter that I have absolutely loved this month. If you haven't checked out your local Books A Million, I know we have Books A Million in the United States, I don't know about out of country, but if you are in the, if you are in the United States and you are a mother and you have a Books A Million near you, I would highly recommend checking it out because they have bargain section books and their children's selection is usually really good. So I picked up this book for $2.97 and it is an alphabet book, but it's so cool because it slides. So it says like B is for bear and then it forms a bear and A is for alligator. And it's just, it's so cool. And it keeps my daughter entertained on our long evening walks. And it's just, it was, it was a good investment if I do say so myself. Hmm. Next, which is slightly bookish because it's historical and there are bookish things about it and if you, I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about, but I was avoiding the bandwagon for the longest time and I knew I'd probably love it, but I avoided it nonetheless until I saw Elizabeth Page's booktuber edition of it, which I'll leave her link down below for you to check it out because it's so good. I went to my library and I checked out the Hamilton soundtrack. I can officially say that I am addicted. I will be purchasing the CD for myself very soon because I need to listen to it every day. My daughter loves it and she dances in the back seat and I just introduced it to my husband the other day and he actually has his bachelor's in history so though he tends to not like musicals he listened to the whole soundtrack all the way through without complaining so I think that's him saying he likes it. So I I have been singing Hamilton all month and uh, I don't regret a single moment. Definitely the best decision I made all month. Along the line of music, every day I put on uh, like a Pandora station for an hour and we have dance time to try to get some of the wiggles out of my daughter so she can calm down and we will listen to Taylor Swift radio and I am not a huge fan of Taylor Swift but it's very poppy and she loves to dance to it. And this month I decided to listen to some music that I like, so I played the Hame radio station on Pandora and it was a hit. So I'm so glad that I found a station that both her and I can enjoy and I definitely recommend it if you like Tegan and Sarah or Hame or um, Churches I think is also on there, so just a really great station. Two more things. Favorite food for the month was introduced to me by a, uh, the Lawn Gnome. I'll leave his link to his channel down below. He recommended that I check out this gelato and oh, it's so good. It's so creamy. It stays creamy no matter how many times you take it in and out of the freezer. And it's just really, really good. I'm not actually a big fan of ice cream. It weighs heavy in my stomach and so I don't eat it very often. And what, because if I do get it and then I don't eat much of it, then it gets uh, Frostburn in the freezer and it's just not a pretty situation but I decided to check out this gelato f based on his recommendation and I got the strawberry truffle and I love when strawberry ice cream tastes like actual strawberries instead of the artificial stuff so it's really good it has these little chocolate truffles on top and it has chocolate hard syrup mixed into it and it's oh I ate cartons of it while my husband was away for 20 days and now I have to work that weight off. And then the last thing I want to mention is a beauty product that I got in my Ipsy subscription. I think it was this month or last month. Either way, I, I've been using it a lot. This month it's really easy. I have it on my lips right now. It is called Hibiscus Flavored Lip Color um, and it's by the company Crazy Rumors. I looked it up online and there are only about four I don't know, I can't get it to focus. Anyway, they're only about like $4 and they taste really good. <laughs> they last a long time and they just leave a really pretty tint on my lips. So I've been liking it. Anyway, turns out I actually had a lot to show you guys and talk about, but that is it for this video. I want to thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. 
Let me know down below one thing that you discovered this month and absolutely loved because I'm always down to discover new things. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.